Nityanandam, we the monks of the Sovereign Order of Kailasa's Nityananda would like to respond to many articles spreading Hindu-phobic racist lawfare and disinformation against Kailasa and a minority indigenous Hindu communities represented by Kailasa. While we acknowledge the vital role media plays in disseminating information, it is alarming to witness the media's unethical stance and systematic disinformation campaign to misrepresent and perpetuate further persecution of our already marginalized and persecuted minority indigenous Hindu communities represented by Kailasa. It's unfortunate these abusive articles were published without even consulting or contacting us. We avail ourselves of this opportunity to set the record straight. We strongly condemn this Hindu-phobic racist lawfare and disinformation systematically perpetrated through media articles, which as history has shown is a weapon imperial racists have perpetuated transnationally for thousands of years. This has displaced millions of Hindus, pushing them into generations of homelessness and statelessness. The media itself is responsible and accountable for this Hindu-phobic racist lawfare and disinformation systematically perpetrated by their coverage. Many media articles have made false allegations and referred to the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism as a fugitive Indian Guru. The revival of the United States of Kailasa, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasannidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, has dedicated his life to reviving Kailasa. He has over four decades of service history and numerous accomplishments to his credit. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism is not a fugitive. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism is a persecuted individual whose basic human rights were denied, which is well documented with a plethora of evidence. Interpol has rejected any requests to issue any notices for the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism based on evidence that was presented to them, clearly establishing that the media, what the media has stated, is not true. Furthermore, the media has falsely stated Nityananda who is wanted in India on several charges. It is important to note that despite nearly 15 years of malicious prosecution in India, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has not been convicted of any crime. The unproven allegations in India of rape are false and malicious. Again, this is well documented with ample evidence. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has been proven innocent and exonerated in the US judiciary more than 10 years ago. An Ohio federal court ruled in favor of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and fined the false victim nearly half a million dollar penalty. This was in United States District Court of Ohio in case number CV526. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism is a persecuted individual whose basic human rights were denied and subject to more than a decade of lawfare. Many prominent world-renowned human rights advocates, such as the King's Counsel Jeffrey Robertson, have given independent reports and legal opinions attesting to this. The omission of US court orders that exonerate the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism of the false accusations and at the same time, in sharp contrast, actively spreading disinformation in relation to the above-mentioned false accusations has amplified the persecution of our already persecuted minority indigenous Hindu communities of Kailasa. We strongly condemn this racist lawfare and disinformation systematically perpetrated through the media by such false statements. All over the media, through various articles, media has falsely stated, particularly referring to Kailasa as a fictional country. The United States of Kailasa is the revival of the ancient, enlightened Hindu civilizational nation, which is being revived by the displaced Hindus around the world. Kailasa is a sovereign entity as per the international law. Unlike any other modern nation, the United States of Kailasa provides a base for the revival 
preservation and the central administration of Hinduism. And this is similar to Vatican, which serves as the central administration for the Roman Catholic Church. The sovereign order of Kailasa's Nityananda, which is an atypical government, simultaneously functions as a supreme governing body of Hinduism, which is a sovereign entity under the international law. And this mirrors the unique status of the Holy See, which is an atypical government as well, as it serves as both the supreme governing body of the Catholic Church and as also a sovereign entity under the international law. Is Taiwan, Kosovo, Palestine a state? Some would say yes, others would say no. But what is incontrovertible is the self-determination, which is a human right and is enshrined clearly in various international instruments, including in the United Nations Charter. Another incontrovertible human rights is the right to freedom of religion. The United Nations Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the ICCPR, recognized by over 178 nations in its very first article, declares all people have right of self-determination. By virtue of that right, they freely determine their political status and freely pursue their economic, social and cultural development. And these are the rights that are being exercised by all of Kailasa's citizens. Kailasa may be less recognized compared to the other states, but that does not deny the people of Kailasa from exercising their very fundamental rights, the human rights, their political rights of building diplomatic relations and recognition. Kailasa by very nature is a non-violent, humanitarian, service-oriented nation and we are being hammered, persecuted by Hindu-phobic, hindu mesic racist forces denying us our very right to exist, denying us our right to get our recognition and denying us our right to survive. People with a common origin, history, language, culture, customs or religion can turn into a nation just through the awakening of the national consciousness. A nation can exist even without a state as is exemplified by the stateless nations that exist today. Citizenship is not always the nationality of a person. Denial of Kailasa is the denial of the fundamental human rights of Hindus. It is the denial of the right to survival and the denial of the centuries of colonization and persecution. Just like various indigenous people around the world, indigenous Hindu communities have been subjected to torment of centuries of slavery, oppression, forced labor, sexual exploitation during imperial subjugation and colonization. Hindus were trafficked as sex slaves, indentured laborers, subject to sexual exploitation during the sex slave during the imperial rule. All of this has been well documented that indigenous communities that were subjected to such imperial rule are impacted by a 50 times higher prevalence of violence against women. And such is the deep multi-generational impact of the centuries of persecution, slavery and sexual exploitation done against the Hindus. Millions of Hindus have lost their right to live, lost their right to practice, express their belief, spirituality and religion right to express their arts, their tradition, free from denigration, interference and violence during this multi-generational, transnational, colonial racism. Hindus have been orphaned through centuries of persecution, slavery, colonization, massacres, brutalities and worse crimes of genocide which have killed over more than 400 million indigenous Hindus pushing them into generations of homelessness and statelessness. The right to survival of persecuted indigenous people is delegitimized by the denial of Kailasa, calling it a fictional country. In media coverage, it is stated, quote, who also appear to have duped several local officials, unquote. Further, it falsely states, quote, he signed a memorandum of understanding with representatives Unquote. And further, quote, acknowledged it has gotten scammed when it signed a sister city agreement with Kailasa, unquote. The document referenced was not a, a memorandum of understanding, but a proclamation.
As a proclamation, there is nothing Kailasa receives in return. Furthermore, even an MOU would have been merely a statement of possibility of contributions in the future. However, Kailasa, without any vested interests, without anything to gain, without any obligation to contribute, has selflessly already contributed several million Guaranis worth of medical aid to support the people of, of in the said local communities of Paraguay. Kailasa's humanitarian aid is not gathered through taxes as most established nations, but it's instead raised through the hard work and sacrifice of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Sri Nityananda Parameshivam, and contributions of the hard-working individuals of a persecuted minority indigenous community that are inspired to do the same in witnessing the SPH's relentless sacrifices and unshakable commitment towards his mission. Kailasa is a sovereign entity as per international law. Kailasa is recognized international body and has an established bilateral relations and has not scammed anyone. Organizations and institutions representing Kailasa have established diplomatic relations with many cities, states, and municipalities around the world, bridging cultures, uh, encouraging interreligious dialogue, and continuing our Hindu-based humanitarian services and promoting global peace through better understanding of diverse cultures. Kailasa is committed to do more such contributions However, it is unfortunate through the Hindu-phobic racist articles media has derailed these humanitarian services that Kailasa is committed to. Hosting and publishing the abusive articles that has amplified the systematic persecution. Kailasa stands as a testament to the unwavering resilience of the persecuted indigenous Hindu communities subjected to the multi-generational oppression, slavery, and severe human rights violations. The United Nations through over 13 published reports, has affirmed the documented persecution endured by Kailasa, endorsing the veracity of our struggle. Despite facing such brutal persecution, Hinduism is the most peaceful and contributing civilization on this planet Earth. Indigenous Hindu nations have lived peacefully for more than 10,000 years without invading or colonizing any other nation. Hindu civilizations have only contributed selflessly without any hidden agenda. Likewise, despite facing all the persecution, Kailasa looks forward to the flourishing development of people all around the world. For the past nearly 30 years, Kailasa's ecosystems around the world have served over 1 billion free meals in total. The citizens and volunteers of Kailasa have saved millions of human lives through various disaster relief works medical camps, etc. In May 2021, Kailasa opened its temple monastic community premises in India to provide multi-layer preventive quarantine as a free service for protecting people from the COVID-19 pandemic. Irrespective of race, religion, caste, nationality, gender, etc., the service was offered completely free of charge to all. In the past three years, through these Preventive quarantine centers, Kailasa saved thousands of lives with zero reported cases of COVID-19. These are just some of the instances of Kailasa's humanitarian services provided through the relentless, selfless, hard work and sacrifice of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism. These sacrifices and relentless efforts of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism have inspired Hindus all over the world to donate and contribute their time treasure, and talent towards these humanitarian activities. We demand a sincere and an unambiguous apology for the blatant inaccuracies that have been presented in your articles and publications. A correction or a clarification acknowledging the false information and providing accurate details about Kailasa is imperative to rectify the harm that has been caused. Your role as a responsible media entity obliges you to act in the public interest and to uphold journalistic integrity. We anticipate your prompt cooperation in setting the record straight and in doing so, cease the perpetuation of the harmful narratives. We expect a resolute and a corrective response from the media. We are open to further discussions and providing additional information. Please feel free to reach out to us through the email contact at kailasa.org. Thank you.